uh, mod in charge. I love people chatting in the chat. Um, so we're going to be giving away those. And also, I just wanted to say for all attendees, before we pull the front row in here, um, we're going to also randomly upgrade one attendee into front row. All you got to do is post a photo of your knitting kit or in yourself or yourself and or yourself um, on social media and tag um, tag Sam and Momentous. Uh, just saying that you're here, you're with us, and we're doing this thing together. And I'm going to randomly upgrade. Hello, Chicago. Hello. Yeah, so awesome. Um, all right, let's pull our front row in real quick. Sam, I'm going to get to you in just one moment. I'm Hi, so Charlie. Sorry. Like, Hi. This is like a very, uh, we're very official. We're very put together. We're doing very, great, great work here. And I love it. Couldn't be, couldn't be better. Um, hello. Uh, yeah, if everyone could tell us where you're from too, while well, we, while well, we build out our front row, we've got Tucson, Arizona. We've got uh, Ireland, I saw, Chicago area, Nebraska, Sweden, Minneapolis, Switzerland, Virginia Beach, Colorado, Santa Jose, North Carolina. The... Canada, Vancouver, Ooh. Illinois. Wow, everywhere. Rhode Island, Florida, Arizona, yeah, Yorkshire. Woohoo! This is awesome. Yay. Hi, Sheila. Um, Netherlands. Hello. New Zealand? Is it the middle of the night there? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, seriously. Hi, Sheila. Where, where are you from? Tucson, Arizona. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, I actually, I my preferred vacation destination right now is going to Arizona like over and over again. I, I can't get enough. I live in uh, the, the very northeast part of Tucson. So I live about five minutes from the road that takes you up to the top of the mountain. Oh, cool. That's so beautiful. It's, it's, yeah, I get all of the loveliness of the desert warmth. And then when I want the snow, I drive 45 minutes to the top of the mountain, play in the snow, come back down to 60 degrees. Genius. Hi, Heather. Uh, hello, Kelly. All right, we're just pulling everybody in. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Uh, Heather, hello, and another Heather. I, I meet so many Heathers. Uh, there's so many Heathers. There's a, a plethora of Heathers, a, a plethora. <laughs> um, I bet we're all born in the 80s because Heather was super popular in the Heather 80s. Was huge. Heather's Heather's and Jennifer's <laughs> huge. Um, I, I'm, I'm, we got a lot to do today. Um, Sam has a lot to talk about. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, Holly. Hello, Kelly. Um, we have a lot to do today. Um, I, I will. I just want to say I, uh, if you also have a meet and greet, uh, please just stick around. Uh, we will continue in this window and have um, uh, everyone else exit after that so we can have our little private moment as well. I also brought, I brought yarn. I'm going to attempt to, does everybody have yarn needles? Hi, Erica. Uh, I hear, Erica, your daughter is a pro, right? Like she's, you're already doing it. Um, she's starting, right? You've taken a few classes? Yeah. She wants to make a sweater for our dog. That's her oh, perfect. Point. That is, that. hi, Rhea. Um, <laughs> So I, I am also going to be trying to knit a sweater. I was told I could knit an entire sweater in one class. So I will be trying to do that. <laughs> Especially with that thin yarn. <laughs> with this thin yarn? Of course. Are you serious? I, I have I have needles still in bags. Like I'm ready to, I'm so ready to do this. All right. Uh, hello, Jennifer. Let's see, I told you, Heathers and Jennifers. There's, the, the 80s were good to those names. Um, and uh, so we're going to be talking about a lot, of, a lot of things today, but let's get into it um, for the Tom Woolery. I'm so sorry. I, I had to, everyone's shaking their head. The front row, the entire front row is shaking their head at me. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's start by pinning uh, Sam and Tanisa here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna pop out, but Sam, thank you so much. I'm so excited. You played Mary Winchester on Supernatural. You're like the OG flammable, I mean flannel wearing mom. <laughs> um, <laughs> you've been knitting since you were nine. Let's get into it. Let's get we you, I'm, you're not here for me. We're here. I'm here for you, Charlie. Okay, well, I'm, yeah, I'm not here for me. I'm here for you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, so, Charlie, is I see everyone across the top there. Is there a way that I can see them all at one time, or do I just have to scroll through? No, you can, you can hit gallery mode. Um, actually, let me you see if I can up there? force that. Yeah, gallery. you can hit Got gallery it. mode on okay. the top right. Oh, there we go. Hi, everybody. Hi. Oh, look at everybody ready? Okay. 
So show of hands from at least my little group I can see who other than Erica's daughter is an, a knitter. Okay, so are you we like expert knitter? Okay, Karen's kinda. Holly, Jacqueline, Brianne, are you ish? Okay, is this your first thing, Brianne? Uh, no, it's probably, I don't know. I mean, I've been knitting since I was 12, so no, 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 no more numbers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Holly and Jacqueline, have you knitted a few things? I started in October. Okay. So I've knit a few things. Great. Yeah, and I've been knitting since I was a kid too. Okay, so. awesome, awesome. So um, a few basic things. This, Kristen, Lindsay, and I uh, researched yesterday. I've always called this a skein of wool or a skein. Skein? Skein. I don't know. Skein of wool. Um, apparently, it's a hank, which is, I can't remember what we, we figured out. Um, oh, someone has been knitting for three or four weeks. Here we go. Uh, if a hank is bigger than a skein, they're related in some way anyway. This is how it comes. Now, if your yarn, Charlie, comes shaped like this, you have to get the, this by the way, was yarn that came from um, the Quince and Company in Maine. They sent me a beautiful box of things and I feel like they could not have picked a more Winchester-y color if they had tried. <laughs> it's dark red with black in it. I'm like, perfect. So if you get yarn like this, you have to unroll it before you do anything undo the whole thing wow. and roll it into a ball. Otherwise you will end up with a knot that will take you longer than knitting a whole sweater to unravel. So just for um, today's purposes, it's usually knotted at one end. I just, rather than untie it, I just snip the knot out like this. And then um, this is where uh, a child or a domestic partner or, um, oh, they tricked me. That was just a knot holding the yarn together. That wasn't one of the ends. That was a mean trick. <laughs> well, find the ends. Oh, here, this might be the ends. Here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna snip this knot now. Nope. Hmm. Here's another knot. We're gonna try this one. <laughs> kind of like the never ending pull from center on yeah. these lines. Here we go. Okay, I found it finally. So if it's a skein like this, you have to roll it, which, and what really helps is I sometimes, if I'm alone, I'll put these over my feet and then just pull it off slowly. You can put it over the back of a chair. You can put it over, you know, this is where your domestic partner or child comes in handy. You make them sit there while you pull it off little by little and roll it into a ball. It doesn't have to be a tight ball. I start like this. I just wrap it around some fingers like this. And then I make like a little loopy thing, like a little figure eight, and then make that as the base of the ball. And it shouldn't be tight. You don't want to stretch the yarn. You just want to roll it and keep rolling it. This would take me probably 15 or 20 minutes to roll into a ball. I'm not gonna do that to you. Um, I am going to use just the end of it to show you how to cast on in just a moment. So some of you have a ball of yarn that is not wrapped and twisted, like this one that Karen has there. What you wanna do is don't be fooled into taking the yarn from the outside. The loose end on the outside is not the one you want. You wanna reach your fingers into the center you, Heather, you as well with the blue yarn. Reach into the center and there'll be a little knot on the, yes. Look at, can you see Sheila? She pulled it out of the center and you wanna pull it out and use that because then it will unravel without having to turn the whole ball of yarn and get all tangled. Um, so Holly, what do you have there? Yeah, so you wanna pull that one from the center too. Ray, what do you have over there besides looking like you're drowning and tangled in like a spider web? <laughs> so is that, a, is that one of the big chunky ones you wanna pull from the middle? Yeah, okay. Very good, Susan. Suzanne, you doing okay over there? <laughs> pull from the middle of yours if you can. Okay. You too, Tina. I'm, no. There you go. 
Yeah, just reach in there. It might come out in a little bit of a clump. That's okay. There right. you go. Erica, how about you? What's going on over there? Okay. All right. So Kelly's still digging for hers. Just, it might be a little bit of a clump. Oh, you got it. Okay. Uh, so to start, you got to get your yarn onto the needle, which is called casting on. Charlie, what's going on over there? Are you still trying to roll your yarn? I, I have an end. Is that that's as far as I'm, I now you want me to roll it though? Is that what you're saying? Well, what you can do is you can use that end and just cast okay. on. Okay, great. And then after class, you can start at the other end and roll it into a ball. Okay, great. I'll do that. So um, to cast on, um, what you always start with when you're knitting is the swatch. A swatch is generally a four inch by four inch square. And for the longest time I didn't do it, I'm like, who needs a swatch? Well, you need a swatch. If you wanna have any idea what size your item is going to be when it's complete, especially if you're coming from a pattern, but even if you want a scarf, you're like, I want a scarf that's eight inches wide. If you don't do a squat, a swatch or a squatch, um, your item could end up anywhere between four and 12 inches. Like you just don't know, you can't guess because uh, you, I mean, you can kind of get a vague idea if you're using the size needle that the yarn calls for. Did everyone see on the yarn that they bought? There's often a little square with like needles and then a crochet hook below it. And it tells you what size needle it calls for, but your size of stitch and therefore, and the tension and how big your item ends up at the end also depends on how tight you knit, how loose you knit. What if, if there's a, they say you can use anywhere between a four and a six size needle, a four is going to make it much smaller than a six because the loops are smaller. So this yarn right here says five stitches on size US six needles. Um, and they're not giving the width, but oftentimes it's a little square. So it'll say 20 stitches by 11 rows or something like that. And so what you want to do is you want to, so here's the end. And depending on how big your yarn is, at about two, two feet should be enough regardless. At the two foot mark, you wanna make a little slip knot. Just loop it through, like a, around your finger, push the loop through, you know, one of these little guys, just a little, just a little slip knot. Now, is anyone here lefty? I'm, I'm I, not I was told sure there'd be matters. no politics here. I was told there'd be no politics. I'm sorry. I, I'm just, was, <laughs> that's false advertising. Um, <laughs> uh, is anyone left-handed here? Heather is, but I'm not sure that you knit differently if you're righty or lefty. I feel like you just go with it. So you can, I, I don't know how to knit lefty, but so we're just gonna try this, okay. So you put the needle through the loop and pull it so it's just touching, not tight. You wanna be able to slide it on the needle. Um, uh, I usually knit on wood because the metal is good because then the yarn really slides if you wanted to, you don't have to pull it, but I find it slides too much and they go flying off sometimes. And also it makes more noise. So if I'm watching TV or something, I like to use wood, it's a little quieter. So what you're going to do is uh, hold the needle in your right hand, okay? Does this look like my right hand or my left hand? I'm gonna- It, it looks like, I mean, it, I'm mirrored to you. So I look like I'm looking in the, like- In the mirror, same good. Same okay, same. so I'm gonna do this backwards so that you guys can, um, how do I do this backwards? I've never done this lefty, so, okay. So what you're gonna do is you're going to hold the needle in your right hand and you're gonna hold the yarn like this. You're gonna put your thumb up and loop it around, I think, wait. Yes, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm actually doing it backwards so that you can, hang on. Oh, see, I already did it backwards. You're gonna hold your yarn and your thumb is gonna go over and around like that so that you have a little loop 
okay? But the, but the yarn is in your, in your fist. So you're gonna, thumb goes over and up. Now the, the back part of the yarn, this one, you're gonna put the needle through. Then you're gonna take this yarn <laughs> so it's backwards oh my gosh hold on oh my god i think i'm doing wait i think I, did, I just i think i just did a is it called a knit or a pearl what is, what is the difference we're trying to knit right here i think the easiest okay. way to do this is this okay now now we can do this okay so this is my right hand right this looks like my right hand this looks like my left yeah okay am i in camera okay yep. so Right hand, you hold the loose piece of yarn in your left. Yep. Like this, you put your thumb up and over and around like this. You go through, you take this long piece of yarn under the needle and then take that loop you had and pull it back over. Got it. And pull it loosely tight. So now you've just made another loop on the needle. There are easier ways to do this, but they're not, the correct way and your needle and your stitches will fall off your needle. So once again, you, you're holding the needle. Now hold those needles, hold those stitches with your other hand so they don't fall off. Thumb, grab the near side loop and pull it up. Hold it there. Take the long thread, go around the point from the bottom and up. Now take that loop that you made and pull it back over the needle and pull the string down. Okay, so now we've got three stitches on the needle. Has anyone succeeded? Stand. Raise your hand if you've done a stitch. Raise your hand if you've done a stitch. Okay, we're gonna do it again, ready? Yep. Okay, wait, what, what, the yarn that I'm having in my left hand, is it the, the one, the never the short yarn, the short the end. Short one. Okay. Thank okay. you. All welcome. right. Short, short end. So, thumb, go, the yarn, go over and make a loop. The, the yarn closest to you, the underside, you're going to, Pick it up with the tip of the needle. You're gonna hold the needle with your hand. You're gonna take this yarn, go around the needle. And then this loop that you had left, you're gonna bring back around and pull it tight. Okay, now who's done one? Karen? Brianne's just sitting there knitting away. She's ignoring us. Paige, let me see. Okay, you're getting there. It's a little twisted, but you're good. Oh, Heather's good. Heather Miller. Sheila, how you doing? Okay. Casting on is hard, you guys. Casting on is hard. I've never cast on with this method. Oh, really? <laughs> so what do you do? Do you just um, do twisted loops? So I've done that. I've done um, just the regular long tail cast on. And so this is just a little bit different. I don't know long tail cast on. Is that the one where you where you knit two pieces together? It's very similar. It, you, I haven't knit very much in, in a long time. So, <laughs> so usually I don't have to do this for very long because then I have a big long project that I work on forever. So casting on is always my nightmare. Well, I think this is the the continental way i think because what happened is my grandmother taught me how to knit american style which means you hold the yarn in your right hand and you always are looping like this and i found it was hard to keep my tension and i also found it was hard to um uh uh it took took longer so anyway what i'd like to do is show you just an easier way just so we can get some some stitches on the needle and we can come back to this because this this takes practice and it's maybe a little bit hard to see on the TV. Do you, should I show you one more time or should we? 
Yeah, I think one I think we need one more time. I, I mean, I've already, I've already knitted an entire sweater, as you can see. I, you guys, right. I don't know what's taking you guys so long. Oh, but, look at you! Uh, oh my God, Charlie! Yeah, I, I just knitted this. If you could, if you could show us, yeah, again, and a little bit closer to camera. I think we've got a couple okay. of people who, yeah, just a All little right. bit. Closer. I think I did this the wrong way around. I mean, Here, what? I think I did this the wrong way around. This is where my wool is. So if Wait, I start I'm here, talking, uh, Karen, Karen. <laughs> I think, uh, well, never oh, mind. Go. I'll catch up. I think as so, I start to knit, I, I'm, I just have this to knit with. <laughs> that's correct. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, the short one. I see. You did the yeah. I took the wrong well, side. But your needle, sh but both threads should be carrying on down the row. Okay. Well, we'll see if it, if it works. <laughs> okay. okay. So, no, what happened is somehow your yarn got left behind because I think you're using the same yarn to make the loop and your needles will come off. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do it one more time. So short yarn, the short yarn is in my left hand. How do I, I think this is the easiest way. I'm like, hold on. How's this, Charlie? That, that looks great. Everybody uh, look good. You can see it there. Higher, okay. lower, closer? Uh, a little to your right. Is it your right? The left, 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 left. I forgot that it's, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Okay. So this is my left hand, right? Yeah. For you guys? Okay. So hold the yarn. Your thumb is on the, on the back, right? Hold the yarn like this. You're going to bring your thumb around from the top and up. Okay. Does everyone have that? You're yes. Gonna, you're going to take this piece that's closest to you and put the needle underneath through the up your thumb like this. So you've made like a four. You're going to leave that loop open, switch the needle to your other hand, take the long piece, Bring it away from you and around the needle. And then you're gonna take that loop that was left and bring it back over the needle. So what you're basically doing is you are making a loop and then a loop with this piece and pulling this piece through. So you're making a loop like that is all you're doing. You're just using the needle to hold it. So this, around, take the loop up and over. So now I have all these loops on here. Okay. Uh, I get it. I found out I was right and left-handed with this. So ah, see, there you go. I, I finally it. got it as well. Around. <laughs> I got it. Yes. And take this loop back over. Once you have it, it's like a muscle memory thing and you'll do it like without even looking. So pick up yeah, the yarn. Sam, you could just keep doing that for a little bit. I think people, oh, people are starting to get it. This is awesome. Yay. So they're still pretty loose, okay? So from the top, pick up this yarn, hold the needle, take the long string, Sorry, I was sitting on the yarn. Uh, around the point, and then take this loop back over and pull it down. So um, while you're doing that demonstration, if you wouldn't mind just continuing to do that demonstration, there's a couple of people who I think still need to yeah, yeah. watch it modeled. Uh, I'm just gonna announce a couple of winners just because that's another thing we do here is try to give people stuff and have a good time. Yay! Uh, so our uh, Quince and Co. winners at random, we picked five random numbers. Those winners are Louise uh, Walk, Jenny Demos, Molly Nordmeyer, Stacey Johnson, and Lynn Root. You will all uh, be getting a really cool kit worth over hundred bucks. Uh, Quince and Co. has not paid us to talk about this. They're just giving us stuff because they want you guys to have a great time and they're an awesome company. Um, so congrats to Louise, Jenny, Molly, Stacy and Lynn. 
Uh, we're going to do the SAM winners in just a bit uh, next, but uh, yeah, we'll continue on. I feel like we needed a whole class just for casting on. Seriously, I 100%. Okay. Which is why we should do more of these, but yes, please continue. How's everybody doing? Let me see. Ray, how's it going? You're muted. Um, Paige, it's good, except that I don't know why you have yarn that's not together. The niches, the knits, the stitches look correct, but your yarn should look like from the same end. Okay. Um. Okay, so what I would like to do um, is, because I wanna teach you actually how to do the knitting and the casting on is important if you want a nice finished edge. But that's something that we can, you can go back and watch this video and stop it and watch it in slow motion until you get it right. But what I would like to do is just get some loops on the needle for us to stitch, okay? So let's start Start again, pull, pull everything off except that first stitch. It should just come right out. So you've got that first slip knot on here, okay? Everyone? And go ahead and um, and use the chat also so that Sam can see if you guys are making progress because then we can. I've got fourteen cast on, Doherty, Doherty, woohoo! Love it. Um, I did fifteen and how several rows? Excellent, twenty-seven cast on, very nice. So what we're going to do is now you've got your one loop on there. Suzanne, now switch to the long thread, not the short thread. Everyone, switch to the long thread. And you're literally going to just do the same thing with your thumb, okay? Like you did. You're gonna pick up that loop and just loosely pull it. You're not gonna knot it on. You're just gonna put loops. Okay, so you've just got some loose loops on there. There's no knot at the bottom, which is what we were doing. You were essentially using your thumb and your other hand as two knitting needles is what we were doing with that original cast on. So it would have a nice edge. This will just have a loopy edge, but at least you're gonna be able to learn how to do a knit stitch. So just keep putting loops on there. So essentially what you're doing is you're taking the yarn, you're twisting it into a loop, you're taking your yarn, you're twisting it into a loop, sticking that loop on the needle and gently pulling it tight. Make a loop, turn it so that the yarn crosses over. Pull it down. Just make just make a little loop to get to get the yarn on the needle. Can everyone do that? Is that easier? Yarn. Flip the yarn over. Put that loop on the needle. Straight line. Twist it once. Put that loop on the needle. Is that working for everybody that couldn't cast on? Karen walked away. <laughs> she ran away. There she is. <laughs> I thought she's like, I'm out. Charlie, oh my God. I, I just, I, I can't stop knitting over here. I've knitted <laughs> 16 different things. I I am just, it. all it takes is one class with you and I feel like I, I got it. I. You're my, you're the poster child for my student. I, yeah, I, I thank you for this help. This has been incredible. You're welcome. Um, you're can welcome. we, can we give away your five kits, by the way? Do you, you're going to be signing those, right? I am. I have my okay. Sharpie and I have the right. kits right here. Uh, we're we're going to be sending five uh, knitting kits. There's uh, knitting needles and a crochet hook. Uh, she is going to sign them right now, I guess. And uh, yeah. I, because I, I, as a poster child for this class, obviously I, I need to help. Uh, promote everything here. So we've got uh, five random numbers picked at random. Here we go. Charlie, what I would like to do, if possible, please. Yes, yes. If I may. Yes, please. Um, if your you show. can do them one at a time. Oh, and yeah. then if they're not in the front row, if they're just in the chat and they hear you, if they can tell me what they would like me to write, oh. where they would like me to write it, front sure. or back, okay. and if it wants to be personalized or just sign it or or what they'd like me to write, that would be okay. Great. 
Uh, yeah, sure. Let's it, hopefully hopefully they're in attendance. Let's see what happens. Ready? Um, uh, uh, first one is number okay. Michelle Deeming. Michelle Deeming. Michelle. Are you here, Michelle? Michelle is not with us today. But, wow, that sounds like she would pass. Like, oh, that, okay. Um, next uh, was Jennifer Floyd. Jennifer Floyd, are you with us in the Jennifer spirit realm? Jennifer is yeah. with us. Jennifer, uh, if, you, if there's anything you'd like to Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, actually, I already have a set of the knitting needles, so I would love to gift these to my friend, Lisa. That's beautiful. Will you, can, can, you, you write, make can you spell her name in the chat for me? That's lovely. Yes, I will. Thank you so much. Um, uh, just for, for time, uh, we've got uh, uh, the next one is Lisa York. Lisa York, uh, if you wouldn't mind in the chat, just letting us know. Uh, Lisa's the, here. Yay. yay. Lisa, oh, Lisa Smith, please. Okay. Can do for Jennifer Floyd. Excellent. Uh, Lisa Smith. And, so should I write it to Lisa Smith or just to Lisa? For Lisa from me and your friend Jennifer. Is that okay? There, we, I, think, I think we may, for the sake of time, we may want to just, uh, we'll reach out to you and get the personalization. For the sake of time, I think there's a lot of people still wanting to, to get into Charlie. the knitting. Um, okay. Michelle Roop. Is uh, our our fourth Michelle? You've won, uh, and Sheila Toner is our final final winner for the kits. Yep, yep. Well done, everyone. Excellent. Um, Sam, do yes. you did you knit a lot on? Did you knit you knit a lot on set? Obviously, yes. Because you get you I get do. you get you act for free to get paid to wait on those sets, don't you? Correct. I get paid to wait and knit. You wait and knit. So you get paid to knit. It which pays, is kind of fun. Basically, it pays for my yarn habit. Right, right. Uh, do you have any, um, just to go into sort of the character of it all, do you feel like Mary Winchester was a knitter? Or maybe? I feel like she knit all the flannel on the whole show. The All of the flannel. <laughs> all of it. Uh, that's a lot of flannel. That's yeah. She was busy. That's what she was doing for the thirty years she was missing. She was knitting flannel, uh, sending so the, them, sending them anonymously, one at a time. So the 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 needles then were maybe silver or something. Maybe. They were yeah. They were um they they had Enochian symbols on them for faster knitting. Got um, it. Got it. And apparently, I think they were also like bulletproof and stab proof because those boys were like <laughs> impervious. <laughs> Bulletproof flannel. <laughs> Bulletproof hand knitted flannel. Amazing. Um, Ariel has 500 loops on her needle. I think you can stop. Um, there's a wonderful fic out there where Mary owns a knitting store. That might be my kind of fan fiction. <laughs> that's, a, that's up your alley. The, um... <laughs> we were laughing that these are actually, if, if Mary retired and she was going to knit, she, she, these are the kind of needles she would have. They probably are like lined in silver and dipped in demon or dead man's blood or something, just in case, because you can never be too safe. I 100% agree. Um, and then can, can you just tell everybody, I know, you know, part of, part of this is about also about raising money um, for causes that are important to you. Can you tell us a little bit about Chicago Foundation for Women? Uh, the, the beneficiary charity? Uh, so the Chicago Foundation for Women is a wonderful, wonderful organization uh, run by women. Uh, and basically they're an umbrella uh, charity that gives money to other charities in the area. One of which is Equal Hope that I have done a lot of work with as well. Yeah. They, they uh, have made huge strides in uh, equality of survivorship for women um, of all races and backgrounds. And uh, it's an incredible group as well. And Chicago Foundation for Women is the one that put me in touch with them because these are the kinds of organizations they support. And they are working for first a city and an area or in Chicago and then the country and then the world, hopefully, where uh, we all get level footing 
to to start because we can all do anything especially together but some people just need a little bit of a boost to get to the same starting point that the average person has and they help with everything from uh, which is where my rise campaign originally came from it was every, whether you're starting or whether you need to restart um, you, you should have a chance and it's whether it's from just from poverty whether it's from having gotten out of incarceration whether it's a health issue whether it's uh, escaping a, an abusive relationship any of those things um, they assist in in child care in in Healthcare in all of it. Amazing. So um, there. Well, thank you, thank you for working on that, and thank you to everybody for for taking part in this. Also, let's get let's get back to knitting. Let's get back. Oh sure. We've passed okay. on. We've. So this is something I've been working on, uh, not very di diligently because it hasn't grown. But we're going to actually teach you how, what to do with a neat with a with a loop now. Okay. So uh, this I can do probably backwards. So what you're going to do, you're going to hold the, 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 pretend these aren't here. These are just the loops that you've put on your needle, okay? You're gonna hold it in your left hand and you're gonna secure this first loop with your index finger so everything doesn't go sliding off. You're gonna take the needle in your right hand and you are going to go the same direction as the other needle is pointing and go through the front of the loop like this. You are going to take this yarn and you are going to go over the needle you just put through, okay? So over, and you're going to use this needle that you just put through to just pull that as a loop through the, through the stitch that you had on the needle already. That's all this is, is using, using this, using the sticks, using the needles to make loops. So you're gonna pull it through and then you're going to carefully slide that loop off the needle. So this is where continental versus American comes in. Continental, I hold the yarn in this hand and just go like this. American, you hold the yarn in this hand and put the needle through and then you have to go like this. I find that really time consuming. I can show you either but having to move your hand and let go of the needles and everything, I find that really hard to keep your tension. Tension is how taut you hold the yarn. And if you can't keep it the same, your, your, your stitches won't be nice and even, they'll be like bigger and smaller and, the, and your work will get wider and smaller compared, you know, depending on how tight your, your stitches are. So let's, let's try holding the yarn in your left hand, wrap it around a couple of your fingers. You can hold the tension, but it still can move. Take the needle in your right hand, point in the same direction, put it back to front like this. Scoop up that yarn with the tip of the needle. You can use your finger to hold it. Pull it through that loop. Pull, just pull the needle back through the hole you put it in with the yarn around it. Gently slide that off the needle. Okay, let's try this one more time. So point in the same direction, you slide it through, you grab the yarn and pull that loop back, through, pull the needle with the yarn around it back through, gently slide it off. Okay. Through, grab that yarn, use the point of the needle to pull that yarn back through the loop with the needle, slide it off. Through, grab that yarn, pull it back out. So if I didn't have this needle, if I didn't have the needle in my right hand, I would be taking this yarn and this, this loop that's on the needle, you see it's just a knit stitch, right? It's just a loop. Can you see it's a loop? So the stitches, the needle's just holding the, the loop. I would take this yarn, push it through with my finger and make another loop. 
That's all we're doing is we're just using the needle to grab the loop so we don't have to use our fingers. Can you see how this is a loop? And then this, this, this is one loop, then this stitch is a loop, then this is a loop. It's just, all it is is loops linked together. That's all we're doing. So you're through, the, through this loop, grab this yarn, make a new loop. Can anybody see, is this clear at all? You guys are really concentrating. Through the it loop. Looks clear. I think, and somebody actually said, um, I find wrapping the yarn under my little finger really helps. Sure. To keep correct tension. On your left, does, does she write, did, the person that wrote that, do you knit continental or American? Cheryl, which, which is it for you? Do you hold the yarn in your left or right hand? We're lost, LOL. Okay. Um, let me go back to this one because you guys are all starting with a new, a new thing. All right, so here's all your little loops on your needle, right? You're gonna take your needle that has nothing on it. You're gonna go the same, have your needles pointing the same direction. You're gonna put it th through the front piece of that first loop, okay? Just through the front. You are going to take the, the long piece of yarn and you're gonna go, you're gonna use this needle and it's going to grab that yarn, go um, over, wait, over the yarn so that there's this, this piece here, you're gonna grab that and just pull it through. You're pulling a new loop through the old loop and then you can slide the old loop off the needle. So you're gonna go the same direction, grab that yarn, use the tip to pull it through the old loop, make a new loop. See, now there's new loops on this needle. So, through the loop, wrap the yarn around, use the point to pull that new loop through, slide the old loop off. I don't try to figure out the best way to what angle. So through, around, pull that back through. You're just, all you're using are these two needles so that you can get the yarn through a small hoop that your little finger couldn't get through. Your fingers can't get through. So. And I just wanted to let everybody know, we're gonna be posting, we're gonna be sending this video to you so that you can pause and rewind and, and go to, over the same parts over and over again. Because Sam, you're doing, what you're doing is great. You're showing us the front and the back side, which is helping us to understand where your What's finger happening. should be where the loop should be, where the needle should be. Um, so I think this might help too. Okay, so these are the old, the yet to be knitted stitches. These are the new stitches I did over here where the yarn is. So I'm going to take this stitch off. And you, you can see it's just a loop, right? What you're using the needles to do is to take this yarn, you're, you're reaching through here with the needle, Sam, can you lower your hands just a little bit? Yeah, there you go. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. So here's the loop. You're taking this and essentially using the other needle to pull this yarn through, make a new loop that would then go on the new, the, 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 the new needle. So this loop, when it's not turned sideways, just looks like this. Here's the loop, right? Can anybody see that? And then I would have used that needle to reach through here, grab this long piece of yarn and pull it through. And it just makes a new, a new one. Yeah, Sam, if you can come down just a little bit more there again and do it maybe closer to the bottom there. There you go. Okay. And then so, do that one. There you go. Here. This is the loop. Can everyone see that loop? 
It's just a string of loops connected to each other, whole string of loops. There's that loop at the top, the top loop that I just took off the knitting needle right there. Yep. This yarn's a little fuzzy. This old, this long string of yarn here behind would come from the back and just, you're using that needle to grab it. And now there's a new loop. So you, you threaded the loop in it, got it. Oops, yeah, it's just, it's just using the needles to make loops and loops. So let me see if this smaller. And again, you know, I think it's going to be good to sort of, there are a couple of sections of this, the cast on, you know, working with that and working, practicing through that cast on process mm -hmm. and then working with that other loop, you know, and watching this over and over again at the first section and then this section for sure. So. Have it backwards. Uh -huh. Okay. So. No, wait, I was right the first time. So here's the loops, the new loops that you guys put on. Here's the loops you cast on. We're going to go through, through that loop because your fingers can't reach through there. They're probably a little tight because they're just loops without knots. Sorry, I'm having trouble doing it backwards. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm having trouble here. Hold on. There, okay. So through the loop, right? Wrap. I think this yarn's too small to show you well. Wrap the yarn around and you're gonna pull it back. So you're just using the point of the needle to pull the loop back through. Through, is this too hard to see on this little one, Charlie? Was it easier uh, on the bigger one? It, it might be easier on the bigger one against your sweater. Cause I think the, let's see. If it's against the white of your shirt, we can really see the like size of the loop. Okay. I'm bringing a different yarn. I'm just trying to think if I have something. Hey, front row, would you mind just holding up your progress so far just so that I can see a little bit like how how it's looking there? Okay, so Sheila, you've got a, okay, yep. Karen, Erica, do yep. you have some stitches knitted there? I can't really see because the yarn's is sitting, so. Oh, that looks right. Okay. Nice. Okay. Hi, Cheryl, looks good. Paige, crushing it over there. Jacqueline, nice. Holly, great. Heather, let me see. Are you doing okay? Are we a little lost? Here, wait. Let, I'm gonna unmute. Here, I'm gonna unmute Heather here real quick. Heather, Heather, your face is my 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 vibe right now. My face is very expressive. I am on the struggle bus, hardcore uh, yeah, over same. here. Uh, <laughs> I'm so. Also, I have really cheap yarn, so that could be a problem because when I try and put the needle through, it kind of, all the different strands separate. So it's making it kind of difficult even just to get the needle through. <laughs> what so, will help you with that is if the, if the loops were looser, okay. you wouldn't be having to shove it through so hard. Yeah, they're, uh, I thought I was acing it with the, the tightness on the loops, but really, <laughs> really not. It's okay. I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like last time I did something that made it easier for you guys and I'm forgetting yeah. what it was. Because yeah, you can like tighten those loops after you're done with the row, right? No. No? Oh God. So very loose knit uh, mesh uh, situation that I'm making. That, I mean, uh, you can, but you're gonna have to go through and like tighten each one as you go. And then that will be hard. So just whatever you're doing is fine. Just try to keep it the same. So again, so this is from the back now. This, you're going to, you're from the front, you're going the same direction. It's coming out the back. You're grabbing the yarn and pulling it back through the front. And see, slide. that's where, grabbing which yarn? <laughs> okay, so see this long piece? 
Yes. So you are going to take the right hand needle, put it through the front of the left hand needle like that underneath. Yep. Okay. You're underneath. grabbing the, the loose yarn, the long string of yarn. You're, you're grabbing it like this. See, it's wrapped around. Are you wrapping it around the front, front or the back of the needle? The bottom. So yeah. if you if you go through like this, you're you're going front to back, but underneath the the left needle, right? Yeah. So you're going through the same direction and underneath, and then from the back, what it looks like is you've got this long yarn. You're on top of the yarn. You're going to start over. You're going to grab it from the top. Like you did with your thumb when we were casting on. Like this with the needle. Whoop. Okay. 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 And, that, now it's okay. and now it's caught on there. Yep. And you can hold it if you need to, but you're using the needle to now pull that yarn through the loop and slide the old loop off. She's in the middle of something. Okay. So through from the front. Grab the yarn, pull that piece that's wrapped around back through, slide the stitch off. Okay, left to uh, points facing the same direction. This one is underneath. Grab the yarn, pull that loop through. and pull it off. Oh, wait a second. This is, no, that's right. Wait. This is my right hand, right? Right hand? Yes, okay. Yep. Suddenly I thought I was doing this backwards the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is this helping seeing both sides? Totally. It's, okay. uh, I'm seeing a lot like people in the chat are messaging the panelists and everybody that that people are starting to get it. Um, I think it's also it's a matter of like repetition and then being I think when people get this video and you can play it again and again and practice with it. And it's funny because some people said, you know, I'd love to work on it and then come back for level two to like make sure I'm casting on correctly and then making sure that those loops are starting to happen. Yeah. And then we can also do purling, which is this. Just backwards. 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 Because essentially, there's there's two knit stitches, right? Purling and knitting. Knitting, purling is just knitting backwards. It's the same stitch, just backwards. So there's really one knit stitch. This is what purling looks like. This is what knitting looks like. So if you want it to be flat like this, I will I would purl on the other way. So if you just knit like this, it'll be a knit and then a bumpy row and then a knit and a bumpy row, which incidentally is called garter stitch. There's like 3 million stitches you can do. Sorry, your brains might be melting, but there's no, this, this is, is all you need to do. You only need to understand the knit stitch and then you can get everything else. And I love also what's really cool now is people are starting to talk to each other. Like the whole point of this is that we all come together and help each other to get better I and better at this. these things. Paige is telling Heather she's happy to help her. I love this. This so for the longest time when I lived in Los Angeles, I had a group of like six girls, and and every other week we would meet for like three hours and knit together, and help each other and trade yarn. Um, it's uh, it's um, once you get it, it's like snowboarding. <laughs> <laughs> the first two hours, you feel like you might perish from it. And then once you get it, you're like, oh, it's just, it's just loops. You're just using these needles to make connected loops. If you look at your sweater, see this loop goes behind this loop, goes behind this loop. That's all it is. Can you see the loops? That's so cool. It's just loops, rows of loops. And I put these holes here on purpose, <laughs> which is something else I can teach you. <laughs> yeah. So the... I feel like I, I'm sorry that it's not easier to understand. Um, so, so I think there's there's a couple of things as we sort of start to wrap out here and, and we're going to move on to them. You know, our meet and greet, this is going to be an opportunity to sort of like 
spot check your work a little bit more and get into like the troubleshooting and things like that as well. Um, this is not an easy thing to do over Zoom. This is not an easy thing like to be in person. Hopefully one day we can do some of these in person as well. Um, Making it that, two dimensions you know, is hard, Charlie. It's very difficult. Like I want to be able to like see where everything is in three dimensions. And so definitely when we send this video to you, we're going to try to bookmark some of the spots um, so that you can find like, here's the cast on, here's the loop, here's that piece of that. Um, but yeah, we're going to, it's going to take some time. And oh yeah, creation of San Fran. Um, For sure. Yeah. Please don't be frustrated. I know I see some of you are frustrated because it doesn't make any sense. I've been doing this for many, many years. And so I might be doing it too fast and I apologize. Um, it takes a minute. You should, I mean, I had, when I was starting, I had to pull all the yarn off over and over and over because I couldn't get it. And it, and that's fine. It's just, it's just, it's, it's a new muscle. Well, it's also, you know, I, I don't know if anyone else here has like a skill in an area where you start to do something on automatic and then it just becomes part of the movement. And so to untangle that into like, what are the pieces and what are the like step by step of it? Sometimes it can be a little, a little tricky to do that. So definitely rewatch this video. Um, we're also I'm seeing a lot of people who want to take this video, practice, and then um, come back. So I'm I'm actually just creating um, I'm creating a level two class right now. It's on the site right now. Um, Yay! If you want to practice, and you want to like work on your cast on, work on your loops and then come back, um, it, uh, Sam and I just back and forth, May 20th, uh, we're gonna come back together again. And, and because you all are founding Mementos, um, uh, I have created a, a discount code for 20% off general admission. Uh, that is Tom Woolery. Um, this is the <laughs> discount code, well, I'll email this to you as well, um, is the discount code Tom Woolery. Um, so it's on the site right now. I will email it to you as well. It'll be good for the next week or so. Um, but yeah, I think a level two, let people, let us all practice. I'm going to work on it and watch this over and over again and try to like cast on. That's, I just still need to work on casting on, to be honest with you. Um, Maybe I'll post a quick, a little video of, of in slow motion or something. Yeah. And, and let and, me know if you can't tell from the video here. And also like uh, show us how you're doing. So, po you know, posting to social media and like tagging Momentus and, and I mean, Sam so that we can see how you're doing and that you're work what you're working on. And that way we can reply back with like comments and support, um, you know, we'll just keep getting better and better at this until we, until I, we're gonna, I'm gonna, you knit me a sweater maybe. I need more sweaters. That's right. I don't know, you're already the expert. No, child. I already knit a sweater. You'll, right. I mean, you'll, You'll you'll have Christmas and birthdays covered for years. Every you'll never be bored on an airplane or in a waiting room. It's uh, totally. it's it's a really I I just I would like to create as many knitters as possible. Yeah, we're gonna knit the entire world. Um, and so just just to close. I out knitted this. We... This my this is my one of my my sweater. You did that. I did. What? I don't. Okay. Yeah. We're, I... I These can't. are bubble bobble stitches and there's some cables. I made yeah. buttonholes. That's amazing. I made a belt. All right. I'm definitely gonna keep at this because I, I that's I can't even conceive of that right now. It's stunning. Um okay, so we, there's gonna be, yeah. So upcoming classes, I think we're we're talking about like what is like you like to knit a couple of different things that are like the smittens, the little like sleeveless little or the yes, little, my little wrist warmers. Wrist I wear warmers. them always. Anyone who's um, ever seen me at a convention is like, oh yeah, she never has those not yeah. on. So yeah, if you see her at a convention when something knitted, it's you probably made it. Um, right. But uh, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for being at this first event, and we're gonna get to the meet and greet next. But um, you know, this none of this is possible without all of us coming together. I look forward to all of us coming together again message, you know, tag us so we can see how you're doing. We'll send you the video. I'll send you the discount code for level two so that we can work on our casting on and our, and our stitching and then in our loops and then come back together. And maybe we can do like a progress check um, as well. And, um, you know, we've got other- I would other love to see your progress. Up. Yeah. I'd love to see your progress and send me questions if you want. I'll try to get to answer as many as I can. And um, just so you all know, we're gonna email you with information about your prizes. Thank you for for uh, joining us so you can win these things. You're, you're, you're going to be super stoked when you get them. 
Um, and we have more experiences coming up, you know, next weekend. I'm actually heading over to Kim to go to this animal sanctuary. Kim Rhodes is doing a tour through, we're like, we are internally calling it boops and poops because <laughs> there's going to be poop everywhere. <laughs> we're going to be pooping animals. Um, so we're going we're, we're gonna to email you all about your prizes so we can get the personalization going. Um, and there's more stuff to come. We're going to email you the link to level two. Uh, I'm so excited. Thank you all to our, our, our front row and everybody who joined today. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Tanisha. Thank you, Thanks Charlie. For Thank you for doing this. Thank you guys for being here. All of you I can see and all of you that I can't. I'm honored to be confusing you with knitting and I hope to see you again soon. <laughs>